Hey everyone, it's our favorite pastry, and welcome back to my playthrough of Lies of Plea. Last time, we defeated the eldest brother from the Black Rabbit Brotherhood. And as you can see, I haven't really moved, because I really want to continue playing this game. I noticed when I was teleporting last time, that there's something to do here. So we're gonna see what that thing is. I have absolutely no clue what it actually is. Wait. Unless it's the merchant. But we'll go back to him through another way. Unless, of course, if I just move forward a little bit, I'll come across the red fox and black cat. Before we do that, I'm just going to go quickly level up. Because I deserve it. expecting that no more bosses means no more worries it was the merchant of course i'll open the shop for the guy who freed the malam district take all the time you need Ooh. yeah Yeah, so I'm giving the Bramble Sword a try. I am liking it so far. Though its durability... It kind of goes down quickly. Oh dear. So this is the Black Rabbit Headquarters. All puppets will die. Also, anyone who messes with the Black Rabbit Brotherhood. Very bloody in here. Black Rabbit Brotherhood Ledger. Sale of 10 Ergo complete. I like our old broker man because he always pays well. But when he's in a hurry, it's hard to secure the Ergo he needs. Sometimes I wonder if he's dev he devours it or something. Hmm. I wonder if we're going to face him. What does he need the Ergo for? Does he really eat it? No scribbling on the ledger, kid. I wonder if that was the youngest one that we faced uh, with Ellis, the first one. That we face with the Ellis. The alchemists are asking for more gold coin fruit. It's not easy to get, so this could be a problem. I think the hotel guys are slow to catch on to what's going on. We can physically clash with them, but that's the last resort. Our sibling's safety comes first. Ah, uh, how touching, bro. Shut up. Acquired five Ergo. I'm real close to the end of this job selling corpses. Just a bit more, and I'll have enough to escape this blasted city. That proposal from the alchemist is tempting, tempting, but I'm running short on Ergo, and I'm not sure about it. Think about an expedition to the Baron Swamp. Get me new parts if you go out of town. A dress for me. A gun and a weapon for me. This is not your journal, dumbasses. Oh, hey. Nope. That's me. Hey, check this out. Looks like you, sorta. From a certain angle. You know, if you squint. 
<laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just kidding. No, it, it looks exactly like you. I mean, you see it, right? With the nose and the, right? Portrait of a boy. A portrait of an aristocratic boy. It pictures a beautiful boy with a peevish expression but delicate face. Extremely vivid paintings are said to possess soul sometimes. D. Gray, the genius painter, denied all such conjectures. However, his death and rumors about his painting are still shrouded in a thick fog. D. Gray. Dorian Gray. He is totally going to be a boss, isn't he? Get my mouse out of it. On. I'm not entirely familiar with the story of Dorian Gray, but from my understanding is he has a painting of himself, and if he views it, he ages instantly, because his mortality is derived from the painting, or something like that. Quartz. More blood. Okay. This looks like the way, capital T, capital W. So let's go back. Because I saw a shiny up there. Gotta get all the shinies. This month's trend, stalker masks. Why did the stalkers start wearing animal masks? According to city historians, it was customary to wear animal masks in ancient crap. It was one of the rituals to show off one's life when one fought the legendary Rock Titans. Rock Titans? Oh gosh, is that another boss that I have to fight? Believe it or not, but this legend is an inspiration to today's stalkers. It is not just for defense and fashion, but also for ranks that shows, show off one's abilities. The link between rank and animal mask isn't clear, but mostly the powerful ones choose their preferred mask first. Perhaps there might, be, might even be newbies forced to wear ceiling masks chosen by their seniors. I'm probably wearing the mask of a newbie. Hence why they fled. In these troubled times of the petrification, in these troubled times of the petrification disease, how about refreshing your mind with an energetic stalker mask? Choose a sole animal to your liking. Various fashionable stalker masks await you. P.S. This item includes a spore filter to protect against the petrification disease, patented by the workshop. Hey bro, HQ is toast. So how about a black leopard mask? The workshop's toast too, so why would they make it? Huh, that kind of supports my idea that Ergo is in the atmosphere, and that spore mask helps prevent you from getting petrified. Oh, fancy cutscene. Oh, loading screen. Oh, it's the farmer. You have no idea how happy I am to see you, Mr. Stalker. Yeah, I'm sure you're terribly happy. Hello. It's a relief to see you. I I'll get straight to the point. I found the gold coin tree. Ooh. Who knew it was right beside us? But there's a problem. When I tried to, to, to pick the gold coin fruit, it, it resisted me. I, I couldn't even get close. It actually burned me. It's probably because I have the petrification disease. P -p Pathetic, yeah. So close yet so far. He's gonna be a boss, isn't he? If you pick some gold coin fruit for me, I'll give you a reward. I, I heard the alchemists made a device capable of fully utilizing gold coin fruit. I, I ignored it. Assuming it was just a legend. You hear all sorts of wild tales about alchemists. Now that I know gold coin fruit actually exists, though, perhaps it's all true. Interact with the Saint Test statue at the Grand Exhibition. You might be able to use the other powers of the gold coin fruit. Saint Test statue at the Grand Exhibition. I might look urbane now, but I, I, I used to be a farmer. I'm, I'm also interested in growing trees. I heard about a vendor who sells plant alchemy boosters. They might work on this tree, too. 
If you come across such boosters, bring them to the tree. I feel like those boosters are going to curse the tree. Or something to that effect. Oh, plant life. Oh, this is the gold coin tree. It looks like a person. Kind of reminds me of Mikola in the Halleck tree. Wow. I never expected to see the gold coin tree in a place like this. Gold corn tree. You can harvest gold corn fruit at set times from the gold corn tree. The fruit is used in several different places. Use boosters to speed up its growth. Growth. Blah. Oh, I have eight. Exchange materials. A rare fruit produced by the gold corn tree. If you take it to Jian Jio, I can't say his name, he'll recognize its value. This fruit that resembles gold holds miracles and is thus a precious wonder drug. However, no matter how bewitching a miracle may be, it always comes with a price. Hmm. I can reset stuff. Interesting. Oh, it even has a counter on this screen. No, I have a very bad feeling about giving him the fruit, but I'm going to give it to him anyway. Stalker, please. Oh. Oh, I have to buy wishes from him with gold coin fruit. I wonder if there's something or if something happens if I buy a certain amount. Hotel crop. Wait. Really? I can't level up. What am I doing? Let's go talk to father. That was a giant circle. I was not expecting that. You're back. The Malam district was as grim as we feared, was it not? But with the Black Rabbit Brotherhood out of the picture, we can focus elsewhere. And why not strike at the root of the problem? The King of Puppets' lair is on Rosa Isabel Street. Perhaps the puppet frenzy will come to an end if we can take down their king. Go to Antonia and get the key to Rosa Isabel Street. I already let her know you'll be coming by. I always remember these favors you've done for me. Though it pains me to send someone so precious into such peril. This portrait... Oh, 
I remember it fondly. He has a wedding band. Why is he wearing a wedding band over the top of his glove? I had no idea the Black Rabbit Brotherhood had stolen it. To think that you... You have brought it back to me. Forgive a foolish old man his memories. Memories of a happier time, my son. I know just where to hang it in the hotel. I was low key expecting my screens to react with that. Probably has a certain location that I can use it for. Use it. Increases cube uses. Add belt slots. I like this one the most. Okay, let's take a look. Oh, interesting. I can have two weapons on the go, and one of them will gradually recover durability when it's not when I don't have it in use. Interesting. Capitalism is always the answer. more quartz. At the house of Anini. 10% discount, I nice. Welcome friends. See if he has anything new. Same thing as last time. Same as last time. from Geppetto. Rosa Isabel Street is ever so dangerous, I'm told. I hoped we wouldn't have to unlock the passage there. But if we want to stop this disaster once and for all, I fear we've no choice. Geppetto and I care about you very much, you know. Stay safe, for both of us. I feel like my time is slowly coming to an end. Aww. Further, it's a nice feeling to know that someone waits for you. That someone cares. Please take care out there. A great weapon calls for a great warrior.
I'm doing it. Yep. Holy sword of the art. Oh no. That's even with the carrier amulet. Gonna stick with this for the time being. I'll use my power to Nothing new with you. Let's see what the key has to say. Rosa Isabella Street had become a hell of fierce fire and blood, as well as the puppet's stronghold. Stronghold. However, some must escape this place for salvation. Now I can finally go down here. And now I can actually go down here. Not like the last time when reality warped before my eyes. Door. Nope. Oh. Sad. I wonder if I get to ride the tramway. Rosa Isabel Street, the entertainment district. You might call it extravagant. Operas, operettas, street concerts, all running 24 7. Adelina Corday, the singer in the red dress. Oh, she was the most famous of them all. The legendary Rima Donna. Mm, well, I'm not sure if she's still alive, so while the past tense makes sense, it's. Yeah, it's getting a little depressing. The Witch's Tower and Princess, the final performance of Adelina, the greatest Rima Donna. Experience through passionate stories. I feel like she's gonna be a boss of some kind. I hear someone coughing. Oh, that's right. I wanted to go see Toma. <gasps> Puppets? Oh yeah, I guess. Do bonus damage to Puppets. Why not? Sawtooth wheel. <laughs> Heard someone singing over here. Another person. Oh, who are you? Oh, my stalker friend. I was worried the puppets had come back. They're demons. They won't give us a moment's peace. Even an elderly lady like me. They wouldn't even let the dead rest if they had the petrification disease. Drives a lady to drink, it does. Which reminds me, I could use a proper tipple. There's a... there's a wine called La Blaiouille. When I was younger, they called it the Ruby of the Heavens. Yeah, I absolutely butchered that pronunciation. Sure there's still some left in the wine cellar at Lorenzini Arcade. You're an enterprising lad. Bring it to me and I'll give you something nice in return.
The Witch's Tower and Princess, the comedy praised by audiences critics alike. The Stella Opera House will be presenting its grand finale. It's the last for <laughs> other actress Adelina Corday. Greatest prima donna of our time. The greatest adventure of an evil witch, a gallant knight, and a beautiful princess awaits you. Come join an unforgettable experience of laughter, tears, and thrills. Another cluster grenade. Nice. Urgent repair tool. Artist doodle. Puppets are the most beautiful of beings. Even their human masters are incomplete beings in comparison. Creations more perfect than the creator, the creator who created them. Which could you praise more? Yeah, that was it. You hit hard. Oh, you explode, don't you? I have a feeling that this is the way. Suicidal puppets. Another sharp pipe. Yeah, this is looks like the way. Capital T, capital W. Let's go back. Come back to there eventually. Another giant loop. Special report Foreigner's Confessions. Alchemists paved the way for Crash's golden age, and no one denies that fact. What if instead of gold, they were to cause an unprecedented disaster? Being a reporter, I received a surprising message from an informant who was once an alchemist himself. It's about a stranger from across the ocean, an alchemist from the Far East who was once famous in Crash. He's he learned of the group's secret and secrets and quit, and he now uses a different identity out of fear for his safety. The relic of Trimagestus is not just a simple ergo mine. That place is dangerous. My source claims that alchemists have an ulterior motive, one not for the benefit of the city, and that they have a very risky plan involving ergo. The conspiracy theory about how hundreds of people can die sounded preposterous, but the evidence provided had a surprising amount of credibility to it. So as a reporter, I spent months with the informer and was able to see the dark side of crime. I intend to deliver my report for the benefits of the citizens. The rest is severely damaged. Publication of this text was banned for spreading false information and promoting social unrest. 
Additionally, reporter Marduro has been suspended indefinitely from our newspaper. But we apologize to the citizens for any trouble. Oh. Alchemist likely were Oh, could be baby puppets. That was very creepy. I suspect the alchemists are the ones that are actually in control of the city. And had that reporter fired for uncovering their secrets. Let's go up. have one throwing cell. I need to buy more. <gasps> Glad I went up, because shortcut unlocked. And I'm just going to casually rip off the door for who the safe. Does it a legion plug? Better. Saw blade. Those are incredibly useful. Ah, here, carnival. You have a gun. Can I have a gun? Oh, good. I wanted more throwing cells. You are still alive? How rude. Probably should upgrade that weapon. Let's go back to Old Faithful. There's Old Faithful. 
Wait, actually. Let's give this guy a try. It does electric damage. That is just comically fast. Very slow. But holy cow. I was hoping I didn't have to fight the babies again. You're just gonna be chill? Okay. You're just gonna be chill. Ow. Ow. Oh good, I two shot them. It's trying to be a cute magician. Come here, you. Oh, no. These two are going to be a pain. If I had more slowing cells, this <gasps> wait a minute. I forgot about you. Oh my god, the babies are following me.
Get over here, you. Get over here, you. There we go. Just needed to use my noggin. Dancer's curved sword. A crescent curved sword blade used by dancers of the east. The beautiful. Their sword dance requires both power and technique, thus it is called an art of strength and beauty. The crescent curved sword handle be used by dancers of the east, an eye catching decoration hangs from it, fitting for a sword dance. Dance, moonlight, dance, pray that my love returns when the sand scatters, but take care that my love's head does not fall along with the tears, a poem left behind by an eastern sword dance. Ah. This was Red Fox's sword that she was using. Yeah, I'm just gonna stick with my current weapon for now. I can't go that way. Oh, right. This path, this was the way, capital T, capital W. There are a lot of unique weapons in this game. Uh... This is either a boss or a mini boss. One way drop. My sense of calm has been removed. Ooh, volunteers well wanted the grand exhibition. I'm expecting her to come alive. The white lady. Beautiful puppet you are. I can hear your springs even if you try to hide them. Musicians have keen ears, you know. Would you like to sing for me like your friends? I have a feeling the sound of your cries will be especially sweet. Let's have an encore performance of pain for the red actress Adelina Corday. 
Where's the white? I dedicate this performance to my sister Adelina. Oh, she can parry. Thank you. Her greatest weakness is walking to the right. I feel really bad. But we got some, something new. The White Lady's Locket. A small locket that was given as a commemorative token. It holds a portrait of a beautiful woman in red. The ex-sisters exchanged lockets as a sign of their friendship. The younger sister was pleased to stand always on the stage of your dreams together. Your loving sister, Adelina. I feel slightly bad. Rosa Estate Incident, left as a mystery. The city of Crap decided to put an indefinite stop to the investigation on the disaster that took place in the Manal Charity House, known as the Rosa Estate. This was the different crisis caused by the large-scale spreading of the petrification disease. There have been no confirmed survivors so far. That's not fun. The petrification disease is, deadly, is a deadly epidemic, but this massive spread is unprecedented. The quarantine authorities surmise that the petrification disease caused the novel mutation. Ah, so again the petrification disease does cause mutations. The now charity house, once a boarding school for kids from the slums, has re until recently been home to the founding Mona family, many students and refugees. The leader of the alchemist, Valentina's monad has been confirmed to have passed during the catastrophe, and this will take a toll on the alchemists. 
I have a feeling he was brought back to life, and he's going to be the big bad of the game. <gasps> Is that a stargazer? Thank gosh. Just gonna go quickly level up. There's a handsome gentleman there. I'll talk to you in a minute. I'm back. I put two points into health. Nothing exciting. Oh, you're Julian. Out in a place like this, you must be a stalker. Can I ask you a favor? My wife's body lies on Rosa Isabel Street. There was a fire, and I couldn't reach her through the flames. I know she's gone, but I hate to think of her just lying there. Would you bring me her belongings? Then I'd have something to remember her by. Thank you. Small kindnesses like this give me something to cling to. Her body is on Rosa Isabel Street. She used to look so beautiful in her black dress. I miss her so much. Every day is harder than the last. Please, bring me her belongings. He looks a little like Bradley Cooper. Of course there's a sewer level. No. Oh, you're just freaky. <gasps> Throw cell. Definitely underwent the petrification disease. That's a big lad.
why I'm having so much trouble with this guy. That guy. That hurt. <gasps> Quartz. I needed that. I have so many star fragments. That was a giant circle. I feel like I'm missing something very obvious. Did I find this guy's wife? Her body is on a mistress. I don't think I found her body. Or maybe I did earlier and just didn't realize it. This time I won't go down. I'll go this way. That was too close. They hurt, holy. Another one of you. Just some brave little crits because why not? You don't care. <gasps> oh no! I ran right into that. Why do I have 196 Urko? I ran right into that ambush. Like a gooper. Just some casual friendly fire right there.
shortcut unlocked. Very good. You can lunge. All that for a sawtooth wheel. Disc disc. No ambush. Oh, ambush. <gasps> you can get them before they explode. I see that giant ball that's gonna come rolling on through. Get over you. Whew. Clever little ambush. <gasps> do, 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 do. Double hit. Were they eating him? Them? I think they were. I am not okay. You found it! The black dress! But... It's just a puppet? What on earth is going <gasps> on? Oh, of course. That was the guy that married the puppet. Shortcut unlock. I am really liking this puppet's ring. It's getting late. Let's go hand in the quest. And listen to that record that I bought way long ago. Oh, my melody. This is her wedding ring. Our marriage should have been filled with joy. I failed you, Melody. I'm sorry. I should have mentioned she's a puppet. But she was real to me. I saw a shining soul inside her. Others laughed at me, but I knew the truth. I knew 
that she was in love with me too. Maybe I'm crazy though. <laughs> Who ever heard of a human and a puppet in love? <laughs> Melody. My Melody. Your words were everything to me. <laughs> she was my guardian angel. The reason I survived the Krat disaster. Even puppets have hearts, do they not? Perhaps all we need is something that helps us perceive what they're feeling. <sighs> Sorry. I ramble when I get upset. Here's your reward. I think you deserve this ring more than I do. I'm more than happy with Melody's belongings. I wish I could offer something more, but this is all I have. Please, remember the love Melody and I shared. Who knows? Maybe you'll find true love one day, too. What do you mean? A ring delicately crafted with precious metals. It looks like the token of a blessed marriage. The ring should have been put on the bride's finger along with the blessings before she the bride's body, body went cold before she could ever receive the ring. Sad. Those who have felt lost do not need silence. However, it can dull one's pain. Not my favorite. That does it for this episode. Thanks for joining me on my uh, my adventures through Liza V. As always, I'm rooting for you. We're all in this together. Yeah.